What's up guys, it's Caleb here and I'm back with another video after not posting for about a year. Um, reason I've not posted is I've just been super busy with work. Um, I've been working as a cloud engineer and I've been working as an Azure administrator in particular. Um, so it's kind of great that um, I'm doing this video today on the AZ-104. Um, as part of my job role, I've had to take and pass the AZ-104, which I've managed to do successfully. And I'm gonna use this video to share with you how I passed and exactly what I went through. Um, so in this video, uh, actually we're gonna be splitting this video into two. The first one, I'm gonna be just sharing more on the exam itself on AZ-104, information about it, tips, um, yeah, how the exam is itself. And in the second video, I'm gonna be sharing more of my personal uh, experience taking the exam, how I studied, how long it took, um, yeah, and, and tips on how, how you could do it um, and that sort of thing. So looking forward to it, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say, um, even though I haven't posted for over a year now, um, I've seen the views growing, I've seen new subscribers, and I just want to thank you guys for all the support, and I hope it continues, um, and this is sort of the, what motivates me, you know, the support I get from you guys, so um, I want to continue to share uh, what I learn in these certifications and continue to help others. Um, so yeah, just keep supporting, drop a like, comment, share, whatever. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate that. So let's get into it. So the AZ-104 Azure Administrator Associate exam. Um, this was by far the most difficult exam that I've taken personally. Um, and bear in mind that before this one, I've only ever taken the fundamental ones like the AZ-900 um, and the MTA ones, which are sort of basic fundamental exams. Um, this is the first associate Microsoft exam I've taken. So hence, yeah, it, it would obviously be the most difficult. Um, the pass mark for this exam is a 700 over 1000. Um, and I scored a decent score of 999 over 1,000. I'm joking, I'm just playing. My score was 806 over 1,000. But like I said in my previous video, it doesn't matter if you score 99% or 71%, um, as long as you're over the pass mark, you get the same certification um, and you pass. So it doesn't matter. The AZ-104 involves monitoring, maintaining, and managing an organization or an individual's Azure environment. And more particularly, this would be seen as more uh, of Azure infrastructure. Um, so IAAS, as they would say. However, there are some other elements in there as well, which you should look out for. This certification is a two-star certification, which means it's associate level so if you're taking this exam it means you're moving away from like the fundamental exams like the az 900 and the ms 900 uh, and the basic stuff and you're moving up a level to associate stuff so if you are moving on to the az 104 i want to say well done because you have passed the basics and now you're getting serious so some of the major elements that the exam covers are Azure AD, um, Azure Virtual Networks, Virtual Machines, of course, um, Azure VPN, which includes the point-to-site VPN and the site-to-site -site VPN. Um, those are qu covered quite in depth. Um, Azure Backups, PowerShell and CLI, which are your scripting sort of languages. Um, RBAC, which is remote-based access control, um, ARM templates, and many more. 
But guys, don't worry if you haven't come across some of these things yet as you study um, and learn for the AZ-104, you will, you know, you'll learn and become well-versed in, in all of these areas. So there are no requirements for certifications you need to have before taking the AZ-104, but most uh, websites out there recommend that you have six months working experience, practical work experience, dabbling in Azure and the Azure portal and that sort of thing. Um, but the truth is, yeah, it doesn't have to be six months or um, it could be less, it could be one month or two months, um, or it could you could be working there for two years. Um, really, uh, it's how much you put into it, uh, how much you're willing to learn uh, in, a, in a space of time. For myself, um, I was working as an Azure administrator for about four months before I took the AZ-104. Um, and yeah, working, having practical experience definitely helped a lot. Um, but I do know people who have been able to pass this exam with barely any um, practical working experience, but they've gone out of their way to go onto the Azure portal um, or create a sort of test environment or go through different labs online um, and still learn without actually working in an Azure based role. Um, so yeah, it really depends on you. Guys, thanks so much for watching this. Um, if this helped you in any way or you just enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment or a subscription or whatever you want. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, you guys can follow me on LinkedIn um, and I love hearing from, from you and people that have found my videos in interesting or helpful. Um, so yeah, feel free to me a dm thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video